an intimate portrait of one of the world's most successful male solo classical artists, now on BBC Two, in the story Behind the Voice of Andrea Bocelli. As a child, growing up in the Tuscan countryside, Andrea Bocelli would sing to his family. Now, he sings to the world. The tenor dominates three distinct worlds, pop, opera, and classical music, with combined album sales exceeding 60 million. Andrea Bocelli's success is even more remarkable, considering he was virtually unknown until the age of 34 and lost his sight at the age of 12. Andrea Bocelli was born and grew up on the family farm in Laiatico, Tuscany. It was a traditional country upbringing, uncles, aunts and grandparents nearby. Andrea grew up very happily. His grandparents and my mother-in-law spoiled him rotten and were crazy about him. This loving and attentive family soon realized that Andrea had a problem. I realized uh, right from the beginning that sunlight bothered him and I was worried. In the end it was a professor in Pisa who explained it to me and this was during the first months of his life. The diagnosis confirmed that Andrea would gradually lose his sight. At around the same time, his mother noticed he was powerfully attracted to the things he could hear. La musica. The help that uh, music gave me with my son was everything. One day I was uh, listening to a piece by Franco Corelli on the radio. I realized this tiny boy was listening as well. It calmed him. So I got lots of records and a big record player with two speakers. He paced up and 